Hi everyone. I'm finally making my third video on my um, video series, What's in My Stash? And this is now part three. Um, and since it's summer, at least today it's summer for us, um, I live in the Northwest, so summer just kind of happens when it happens. So it's summer today. It started, summer started yesterday, and in the beginning of the week, it was kind of rainy and a little cool, so just depends. But it's summer right now, so while I'm summer-minded, I wanted to show you my fruit fabric. So some of you guys may have seen some of it um, on one of the projects that I have coming up in my sewing queue, but um, I wanted to share my fruit fabric. I just have this, like, obsession <laughs> with, with fruit fabric. It just makes me happy. Last year... No, it was a year before in the summer, I found this cherry fabric and it was like, I made this top and it's like, cherries just make me happy. So I wanted to show you my fruit fabric. Whenever I have an opportunity to buy some, some fruit fabric, I just buy it, even if I don't know if I'm gonna make something with it. So I wanna show you what I have in my stash. Um, the first one you've already seen, a dress that's on my, um, on my Instagram page. I made a long dress out of this um, pineapple fabric. Um, I love the dress, I love the feel of the fabric. It's a rayon and I have enough left um, gosh, it's quite a bit left. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of have a hard time like making something and having like the same thing, but I've been doing a lot of, um, shorts with my remnants, my remnant fabrics that I have at least a yard. I've been doing like fun little shorts. Maybe I'll make a reel about that. But, um, this is just, I love this fabric. And so I'm, that's the first of my fruit fabric. Um, let's see next. I have this, yay, it's watermelon. Anyway, um, and who doesn't love watermelon in the summer? This says summer like anything. So um, it is kind of more, I don't know if it would be, it's novelty fabric, like for quilting or something like that, but I'm actually gonna use it for a cute little sundress. I'm thinking summer barbecue, Saturday, you know, barbecue, Saturday market, cute little, um, straw hat just fun the whole thing of watermelon and um i might call it the kayla dress because my daughter kayla loves anything watermelon so um that's this um then i have this knit which is um i think it's oranges it looks like oranges or peaches or both i don't know let me give you a closer look oranges peaches tell me what you think which what it is anyway it's a knit so um it kind of makes me think pajamas, but I kind of have to wait till my brain goes outside of the box of using something like it normally would be used. But right now I'm just thinking like loungewear, um, but who knows, it could be something else too. We'll see. Um, next, I have this, oh, lemon, lime, orange fabric, citrus. Let's call this citrus. And it is a cotton. And I bought this, this was, I think my, I think it was like the second piece I bought that was like fruit, but I'm like, I'm really liking the fruit fabric. No idea what I would make out of it, but if you have an idea, put it in the comments because I love when people kind of share their create creative ideas. Anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of more of that novelty fabric too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Next, I have, ooh, I just got this. Um, okay, is it, I'm not sure because you don't ever get to hear anything pronounced. So I don't know if it's La Finch or L.A. Finch. Sorry if I don't get it right. But anyway, I love the fabric set that, that um, she has. And I only have two yards of it, but I love it. It's a crepe. Um, and I love to sew with crepe. It's just lightweight, but not so lightweight that it's hard to, to work with. Um, it has enough structure. Um, and it's a great summer top. And I actually have a pattern to do with this. And I already have this one picked out. It's going to come after the watermelon dress, but it's this because I need tops to wear to work in the summer. So I'm going to use this, this pattern, the Butterick. Um, and this pattern, I've made a top before um, and I love it. I just love, I don't know. It just is like, this is a cute top. So I'm going to be making this top with this or with this fabric. So that I already have planned. Um, Next, I have this fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And again, it's like a fruit fabric and, you know, let's just call it name that fruit. So it can be a peach and orange. I don't know. You guys look and see. But anyway, I have quite a bit of it um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. A lot of times 
like I said, it's got to it's got to talk to me. But I was thinking it'd be really cute as like a sleeveless um, shirt dress would be really cute. Um, I don't think I would do a skirt. That's a little bit like not enough for me. I don't do a lot of skirts, so especially in summer. But this one, cute. Um, I have quite a bit of that fabric. Um, and I got that at Hobby Lobby and it was pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure I got it on clearance for a couple bucks a yard. Um, and then the same trip to Hobby Lobby, I did buy this fabric and I'm excited. It is going to be a shirt because I think it'd be a fun top. Um, and I know because yeah, I'm over 50. So being over 50, you gotta be careful about, no, you don't have to be careful. I'm just totally being sarcastic. Um, but anyway, I'll just wear what I want. And I'm like with this. I like to just take fabrics that people would be like, oh, you can't wear that and just make it fun. So I'm gonna do like a fun top with this. I could see it with white pants, um, a white skirt, maybe not a skirt, uh, um, but even like little white shorts or black shorts or denim shorts or whatever. Anyway, I have some ideas with this. Um, actually, I'm actually doing a pair of um, repurposed Levi jeans. I bought some 501s and they have the little, um, pom-pom balls on it and I'm thinking this would be really cute with those jeans so I'll, I'll show you like probably next week I'm gonna post those jeans but anyway this top right here this is another butter pattern and um see there um, I'm gonna do this view but probably with these sleeves um just because it'll be in the office and sometimes yeah, the office goes back and forth between air conditioning and super hot. So sometimes I like to have a little bit of sleeve, lightweight sleeve. So this is going to be that top for now. Of course, I can change my mind if I see a squirrel. And this, you guys, is my latest purchase. I just got this on my trip to Hobby Lobby last Saturday. Um, and it's lemons. And I... We're gonna, this is gonna be the pink lemonade something, like the pink lemonade dress, the pink lemonade jumpsuit. Ooh, jumpsuit would be cute. But anyway, I love this, it's so cute. So I cannot wait to cut in this. So again, I'm just at that kind of like, I have so many ideas and so little time because my job literally, I'm like nine to five or six, depending on when I see my last client and if I have a crisis and I have to deal with that. But anyway, all that to say, I don't get to sew as much as I'd like to and the ideas are just like rolling in my head. So this one, I can't wait to cut in this and I'm like hoping I will get to cut into that this this summer and actually wear it. So that is part three of what's in my stash. Coming up, either next time or the time after because I really don't want to look at it as I want to show you what's in my stash of my unfinished projects. And like the weird thing about my unfinished projects is... I have to look at them. And so, and then if I look at them, I feel like I'm going to have to finish them. So I think part four is going to be my unfinished projects or because I have a couple things I want to be able to wear this summer, or it's going to be my, my printed knit fabric. So I don't know, which one would you rather see? You want to see all those projects I haven't finished or do you want to see what I could distract myself with? All right, that's it. See y'all later.